A deadlock concerning the purchase of Rasmus Hoyland by Manchester United. There's an update concerning Andre Onana. Welcome to the hotspot. My name is Webb. And again, on Onana Day, we continue to look at the best news that is coming out of Manchester United. Now, guys, according to the Athletics, Lauren Whitehill, uh, she has reported that apparently Manchester United has had a bid of players plus cash for Rasmus Hoyland rejected by Atalanta. Now, her report did not uh, indicate exactly how much United had bid, but at least we know already that Atlanta's valuation of Rasmus Hoyland, the striker Manchester United has been wanting for the longest time, is about £85 million. Pounds. Now, according uh, to uh, Whitewell from the Athletic and several other sources uh, who have come through from Italy uh, to try and give us news concerning this deal, they do suggest that uh, the bid now United has tabled for the striker is about uh, uh, players and some going out or not. Now, remember, I told you in one of our recent videos that uh, Manchester United had, uh, uh, you know, gone to, to bid with Mason Greenwood as an option of a lone player. But later, it was also uh, indicated uh, that we were, we were interested in adding on Ahmad Diallo as a possible way of convincing Atlanta to let go of Rasmus Hoyland if we added them some little bit of cash. Now, that's where we are. But let me settle down as I give you this. Guys, listen. First of all, about the report, I think there is no reason for us not to believe it or to doubt it because I think it is an open secret now that Manchester United do want a striker and it is an open secret that Manchester United want Rasmus Hoyland. It has been clear, we've seen it, and we know that the preseason has started now and we saw how United played without a striker, Jadon Sancho pretending to be a striker and uh, he couldn't even you know, bury a simple chance when the little... Ahmad Diallo created for him. But anyway, let's not go into Sancho. Let's stick to the striking uh, you know, department. But yeah, so there's, there's, it's been there. We've known for the longest time that United do want to sign a striker. And Rasmus Hoyland has been that striker we've been linked with. And it is, it is also known that United went ahead and spoke to the player to try and agree personal terms with him. And it seems actually the player was excited uh, because he's a Manchester United supporter. So the personal terms were agreed between United and Rasmus Hoyland. Well, not that this is a big deal in terms of agreeing personal terms that we should all be excited because, again, it is not the hardest thing to agree personal terms with Manchester United. More so if you're a player from Denmark who's 21 and the biggest club you've played for is Atalanta. So obviously he knows United can triple his wages. And we are always, you know, known to give un unbelievable wages. So it's easy uh, on the personal side for us. But the, 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 the hard paper comes when it, when it goes to negotiation between the cl club to club. Now, this is where we are. But at least uh, what we know is that United are still intent on pursuing Rasmus Hoyland. But also we had the reports yesterday that United's bid uh, for Giancarlo Ramos was rejected. So I think uh, the, the pursuit of a striker or strikers, that is two uh, in this case, uh, is serious. And that shows for me uh, one thing that Manchester United has probably almost uh, advanced entirely when it comes to the department that we've been stuck on for the past weeks. That's the goalkeeping department. And speaking of that, Andre Onana. Remember, it's Andre Onana day today. And, uh, well, it's beginning to look silent and stuff. Well, the news that is coming through concerning Andre Onana is that uh, any time now. Well, this is the news. Let me give it to you. So what's coming through is that, again, uh, the two parties are still trapped in negotiations. It is uh, reported that uh, uh, the sporting director of Inter Milan has uh, uh, flown to the UK uh, to try and finalize double deals. Of course, uh, them sailing. Andre Onana to Manchester United, they are hoping they will meet somewhere. There was a report earlier that came out suggesting that Man United had increased the bid from uh, 45 million to 47 million pounds, but uh, Inter Milan were still intent on uh, sticking to their guns and, and keeping it uh, 51 million pounds. That's 60 million euros. So there was that report. But again, we've seen a, a report from, I think, uh, Manchester United News and several other sources around uh, Manchester suggesting that uh, the Inter Milan uh, 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 sporting director is in the UK to finalize that deal with Man United for them to buy uh, uh, to, 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 to buy uh, Andre Onana. But also, remember, Inter Milan have tabled a bid of 30 million euros for, to Chelsea for Romelu Lukaku. So he's also hoping that he will go to London and sort the deal uh, for Romelu Lukaku. So the double move, that's the double move that Inter Milan are trying to sell. But also, again, the advantage, I think, uh, what shows me, again, that maybe 
uh, we, we, it's an open secret now that Onana is done, is the fact that already Inter Milan has been bidding, has been bidding for, for goalkeepers to come, two goalkeepers to come and replace Andrew Onana. So it shows you that uh, perhaps I think it's a question of time. And like uh, Fabrizio uh, did say uh, at the start of this week, I think United will be getting done with Andrew Onana before close of business today. And of course, I hope I will be here to give you that update. So. That's where we are. But the preseason is on. We saw how it looked. A United playing with Tom Hitton in between the sticks. Of course, he did not concede a goal, but it was against uh, Leeds United, to be honest. <laughs> uh, so I don't think uh, we should be here uh, praising uh, Tom, Tom, uh, Tom Hitton uh, for not con conceding a goal. Uh, but also, we play, for me, I think the elephant in the room is the fact that we played without a striker. And you don't want to play so many preseason games without a striker because, again, whatever you do as a team, is to avoid you know letting in goals but to be able to score many so if you don't have a goalkeeper and a striker you're as good as none that's the worst orchestra you can have it's like having an orchestra without a guitarist and uh, and the piano so it doesn't make sense so that's why we are we are an orchestra without a guitarist and a piano a, a piano and that means we are nothing we cannot call ourselves an orchestra so that's why uh, you feel uh, we need to expedite the moves for andre onana and uh, Rasmus Hoyland or whichever striker we can go ahead and pursue. So that's uh, a, a bit of the situation going on now. Still talking United, we all know that uh, Eric Ten Hag has struggled with a bunch of players who are on big wages but do not deliver. I, I can go over and over about the names from uh, <coughs> Donny van de Beek, uh, players like uh, Harry Maguire, players like Jadon Sancho. You can name them. Anthony Langer, who, by the way, has had... Uh, I think is, is edging closer uh, to joining Everton now and uh, the valuation is what might be, I think uh, slow the process because Man United do probably want about 15 million pounds, 15 to 20 but Everton are hoping they can get him for well less than that, perhaps 8 to 10 but yeah, uh, Manchester United uh, uh, have got some young players who look to be uh, quite uh, exciting. I, I was uh, particularly impressed by, uh, you know, by by Diallo. I think I do think Diallo looked good in that game. He was composed. He was not the best performer of the day, but it felt like uh, uh, he was, uh, I think, uh, quite decent. And of course, the youngster who scored and assisted the French boy, uh, who also looked um, uh, uh, good. And perhaps we need to give them more time and attention to see how good they will look. Because I believe Eric Ten Hag is now. I think decided he's clear he wants to give a chance to young players to prove themselves because that's what you've got to do if you're Manchester United and you don't have a lot of money to spend that's what you've got to do give a chance to young players to prove themselves so I do hope that's going to happen but guys it's an exciting day I feel excited I feel energized because I know something is going to happen to do with Andre Onana so guys let's warm up for Onana Onana it's Onana day and I do believe it is going to happen. We are going to sign him no matter what. Nothing will stop us. And I'm imagining, look at me like Andre Onana now, trying to work so hard to get to earn every pound at Manchester United. Well, I told you it's another day. If he doesn't come, look at me like the Andre Onana. For now guys this is the hot uh, hot spot i uh, do subscribe because this is where i do get to ban you with the hottest news concerning manchester united it's such a cool breeze out here look at this such a cool breeze and this is a sign it's a sign guys it's a sign onana is coming watch out subscribe